Hey guys. Okay, so I just tried to film this and I got a little bit rambly, so I'm going to try to make this quicker. Um, this is going to be my Friday Reads. And first, I have a confession to make, and that is that I have not read anything for about a week. Um, and there's two what I think are fairly good reasons for that, um, but maybe they aren't. A, um, after reading Far From the Madden Crowd, um, I just didn't feel like reading anything else for a while because it's one of those books where the plot is so intense and the language was just so beautiful that you kind of have to take a little bit of a break afterwards, and it could be that that's just me. But when I read any book like that where the plot is very intense or it was emotionally draining or something like that, I just, I always have to take a bit of a break. So, yeah, um, I did. And then the other thing is that I tried to start Cloud Atlas. I'm sorry, the sun just went away. Um, but I tried to start Cloud Atlas about three days ago and I got 12 pages in. And the language in the first chapter is very difficult to guess, I suppose, because it's set in either the 17 or 1800s, I'm not really sure which, but because of that, um, you, you definitely have to do a lot of guesswork as to what certain words mean um, back then. So, like, I have to kind of focus on the sentence that the words in and just be like, okay, in this context, what would this mean 200 years ago? Um, and so that made things kind of hard. Um, and it makes me a little bit scared about this book, but I'm hoping that it's just going to be that first chapter. Um, and that as soon as I get past that character's chapter and it gets more into future times, um, that it'll be easier to understand the vocabulary. And I'm sorry that I sound like a frog. I just woke up, um, a little bit ago, so sorry about that. Um, but yes, so, yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to this today because I just, um, figured out how to watch Outlander online, um, without giving my computer viruses, which is great. Um, and I've been trying to find this show for months, so I'm definitely going to catch up with that for the rest of the day because it's one of my favorite books and I'm just, so far I'm kind of, I've got issues with the show, but I also am totally in love with it at the same time. Um, so yes, enjoying that. But because of that, I might not get to this today. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely going to spend tomorrow and Sunday kind of barricaded in my room trying to uh, get as far into this as possible. Because um, I think one of the problems when I was reading it before was that I was reading it downstairs when there, uh, like my mom was around and the TV was going, so there were a lot of distractions. And I feel like this book needs focus, so that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow and Sunday I'm going to just basically lock myself in my room and just read. So hopefully I like this. Um, if I get like a hundred pages in and I'm still having as much trouble as I was, then I'm probably going to have to set this down and I'll just watch the movie. Unfortunately, I hate doing that, but I've had issues recently where um, I've read books that a whole bunch of other people have just been completely in love with and I have not. And that sucks because, like, you always feel like when you read a book that so many other people like that you don't, like, I always think, okay, am, am I missing something? Like, is there something in here that I'm missing that everybody else really enjoys or I don't know. Um, but with this, you know, I only got 12 pages in, so I have high hopes for it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm reading this weekend. And, uh, please let me know what you guys are reading this weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.